Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So last time we did officially start franchise and all of you seemed super excited about it, so I think we're gonna stick with franchise for now. But I might play with a tutorial from time to time or may stream some of the tutorial for any of you that might be interested in watching that. But for now, we're in franchise. I have paused, we're still in February of the first year, which is great. Only a couple months have passed. So since we have a theme going, I think that we're just going to put down the buildings we need without adding any more decorations and start adding exhibits, the small exhibits, as well as like a souvenir shop and such to start earning income. Many of you are like, you need to earn money. You need to earn money. You need to earn money. And I'm like, okay, yeah, if I spend all my money on decorating and I don't have any left to buy an exhibit, we've already failed franchise. So I'm gonna put the buildings kind of along this row. They aren't gonna be decorated, but don't worry. Once we start earning some money, I can come back and make it fit the theme. So our staff room and our zookeeper have been extremely spoiled, but the rest of our wonderful staff is just gonna have to live with the basic buildings for now. So we are missing a workshop, a trade center, a vet surgery, a research center, and a quarantine. So let's go ahead and get a workshop in here. I don't really know what a workshop is for. Uh, but sure, we'll get it in here. What is the workshop for exactly? It'll be fine. We'll get it in here. This is where y'all tell me you didn't need the workshop, but that's, you know, that's okay. <laughs> and we'll just plop that down right there. Let's go ahead and get a research center going. Perfect, let's get a trade center going. Perfect, we need a quarantine and vet surgery. So we'll probably get a vet surgery on this other side next to the zookeeper. I feel like that's gonna be kind of important. Ooh. All right, let's turn this around. Nice, I think that looks good for right now. The vet surgery is kind of a big building. You know what? We may put the vet surgery at the end here. And now for quarantine, perfect. Was quarantine actually bigger than the vet building or are they about the same size? I think they're the same size. And then let's complete our staff path. Okay, I want it to go, ah, yes. You did it for me, kind of. Hmm, this is fine. And there we go. Perfect. So here is my thought process. It may not be a good one, but I think for now, I kind of want to start building the reptile building just right here in the front. And we could put signs right here, like go see our reptiles and our insects. And we can have reptiles on one side and insects on the other. It's not too far from our zookeeper that I would think it would be an issue. And then all around this edge and this edge will have like info, uh, areas as well as food and drink and then we'll go straight into other exhibits but I was told by a streamer slummy log that I should start with the small exhibits in order to make some money and so I'm going to try and do that all right so I've done a few things behind the scenes I went ahead I hired a vet because we're gonna need a vet right away I hired a keeper because we need a keeper right away. I hired a mechanic just in case anything broke down. We're going to need that. I also hired a guard just in case there was chaos. And I hired a caretaker, which reminds me we need to add trash cans for sure. Trash cans are a thing. I didn't hire an educator because I didn't think we were going to have enough animals to require an educator just yet. And I didn't hire a vendor because we don't have any vendors yet. So those are the two things I have not hired. Now. All of these buildings and all of these people have randomly generated names, but I believe I can rename them. I can. So if there is a position that you would like out of any of these, please comment below 
and it'll be a first come first serve so I'll look at whoever commented first on what they want. So if I have five people say, I want to be the vet, it'll be whoever said it first that actually gets it. But your name does have to be appropriate and family friendly, so make sure that that is a thing. But I would love to put y'all in here and you get to make these positions your own. Also, building names. If y'all have any good ideas for the names of the buildings, let's do it. So far, I have named this ZooQuest Vet. Everything's going to be named ZooQuest and what it is until I receive better names from all of you. Whew. So I've got five workers floating in the air right now. And then over here, I barely did anything, so you didn't miss much. I just put in an archway and I have one exhibit. I did adopt two American bullfrogs so that they could possibly breed and we could sell their babies. Possibly. But in order for any of this to work, I'm gonna have to press play. So I'm gonna press play long enough to get these people in here. Okay, vet status wandering. All right, keep a work zones does not include habitat. Oh, well, let's go ahead and include the habitat. I can fix that. Okay, so it does look like for our vet in particular, our vet needs an actual habitat rather than one of the small exhibits. So our vet isn't going to have very much to do. However, I could just go ahead and have our vet doing research since they don't have an exhibit. That way they'll still have a job to do even though there's no animal for them to work on right now, which should be fine, I think. Okay, let's get some trash cans in here. All right. So I have moved our bullfrog into that area. Yes, there's no building around it just yet. I'm actually gonna let people come and look at the animals while I build around them. Hopefully that's not too weird. I might even, with the money I have left, buy a couple more and move some more animals in that our zookeepers can handle, hopefully, our zookeeper, I should say. But on the topic of naming, which we were talking about before, I would love for y'all to give me name suggestions for our bullfrogs. I have a male and a female at this time. I have Wakefield and Emberly, which are both great names, but I would prefer if y'all got to name all of the animals, or we could even name the animals after you. If you're like, I want to be named after a bullfrog, or I want a bullfrog named after me, I should say, then just let me know and I will make it happen for you. All right, folks, I'm hitting play to see what happens. We have two American bullfrogs. We have a diamondback terrapin, which is a swimming turtle, and we have an axolotl, which I'm very excited about. Okay, looks like our axolotl's pretty happy with their temperature, which is all I can really fix right now. We could up the humidity just a tad for our turtle. And maybe even just a little bit for the American Bullfrog. Now, let's go ahead. I know Valentine doesn't have much to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get our vet doing research on the Bullfrog. Whew. All right, here we go. We've got people! We've got people! So now my next question is, should I add a vendor just to kind of stand here with some info? Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Oh, I'm panicked. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to let them have a good time. I think I might go and get some, like an info desk going. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, actually, I am going to plop a donate on each side of this for right now in hopes that maybe people will be like, oh, yes, donate, <laughs> do it. Give me your money. <laughs> oh my gosh, can we see them in there? <gasps> Wait, you can, look. There's one of them. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello, little bullfrog. We are researching you right now. Where's your, <gasps> there's your buddy. There's your buddy. Can I click on them? Nope, not really. <laughs> wow, look at all the people. We're going to need a bathroom, I'm sure. Hmm. Probably should think about that. No worries, vet. I know you don't have anything to work on just yet. 
our money is slowly going up, so I think we could start building around these people now. Look at them donate! This is great! Wow, okay. Well then, I'm just gonna build around them a little bit. Everybody seems pretty happy too. A VIP has arrived. Hello, VIP. I say hello. <laughs> I can't see them. Oh no. Wee. <laughs> hey, you get money for saying hello. That's really neat. I didn't know that. Or leafs, I should say. You get leafs. <laughs> so I'm actually thinking about possibly trying to add a tortoise in front of our reptile house so that our vet does actually have a animal that it can go over. And usually these smaller animals do all right in the beginning. Hmm. So these guys can be a little bit expensive. Oh, look at you. You're a lot of money. <laughs> I do favor the Galapagos tortoise. I will say it is one of my favorite tortoises. Galapagos? Galapagos. You would think if it's my favorite, I would know how to say the name. Shame on me. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a little exhibit for them like right here in the front that might be super cute. Surprise! <laughs> so instead of working on the tortoise, which needs far more space than you would think it does, I'm actually going to be working on a dwarf caiman that does not need nearly as much space. And I love caimans, personally. I'm extremely excited to get a caiman going. We've got our American bullfrog is almost completely done with all of the enrichment. We just need one more but they're doing so great. We are making some income. It's going up slowly, but surely we're already in year two, but hey, who cares? It's going well. We're gonna get our caiman in here. Never did I think I was gonna start with reptiles, but we're starting with reptiles. <laughs> so we'll just speed this up a little bit until I am satisfied with this exhibit. Interesting. So this animal does not have enough space to navigate, but it also doesn't quite have enough water. I'm surprised by the land need. That one kind of shocks me a little bit. So we may have to adjust just a touch. Hmm. All right, so I added a few things and I made the exhibit just a little bit bigger. The vet is here. Space is really still not good, unfortunately. What? What do you mean? There's plenty. Very odd. Ha! Huh. No navigatable swimming area. That's an issue. Okay, well, we're gonna have to fix this then. Oh, so I've got our caiman at least in the green. I think I'm gonna add a few more things. Our vet research is complete for the bullfrog. So that's done. We are gonna have our vet research the dwarf caiman to see if we can't make it just a little bit happier. But let's go check on our bullfrog. How are they doing? All right, can we add more? Yes, add those mangrove roots the happiest bullfrogs on the face of the earth right now. Look at that, 100% welfare. You'll love to see it. 92%, that's pretty good. All right, the layout for that could be better. What is this, 92% as well. And we're just gonna have to wait until we can research more of those. But I wanted to give our vets a job and that's why I brought the caiman in here. I'm gonna continue decorating this beautiful exhibit and I will bring you back when it is done. So I couldn't add too much more to this exhibit. Our caiman is very picky. It doesn't like a whole lot of coverage. I was able to get some research done and we were able to put in a fish feeder 
and a rubber ducky to help some of that welfare. Now the navigatable land area is not very good. Good thing we're playing on an easier difficulty for right now since this is our first zoo ever. But everything's looking good. We've got some good plant coverage in here. Enrichment is great. Everything is great. It's really just that that amount of navigatable land is so low. So this is probably the highest we'll ever be able to get our sweet Cayman. But now we need to add some education boards and speakers and such. And then eventually I would like to go in and do something really pretty right here to distract from the fact that it's just like, bam, there's an exhibit. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't put something in the middle of this walkway for like information and food and water and stuff to make this the centerpiece as opposed to this over here. <laughs> we could also put something right here as well. All right, and I got some education down after finicking with a few things and realized I grabbed the wrong thing. I even moved one of the donation uh, buckets over to the sign itself so people could be like, oh wow, that's really interesting, and then toss some money in there. It's looking really good. I didn't think I would have an exhibit this close to the front entrance, so I wanna make sure that at some point we take really nice care and making the area around look really pretty. Maybe add a tree up here or something. That might be nice. Hmm, like a nice floofy tree. I do like floof trees, gonna be honest. They're like my favorite kind of tree. Oh, I love this tree so much. Maybe we can add some Ooh, like this around it. This might be pretty. As long as it doesn't upset our Cayman. Oh, those are so nice. I love it. There we go. Sometimes just adding a little bit of foliage in the front is all it needs. We could add some things along here as well. How are you doing, sweet Cayman? 85% welfare, that's not too bad. Your coverage is so high. <laughs> Poor thing is like, this is too much. I, I can't, it's too much foliage. Mm, maybe we can uh, deplete some of this foliage. <laughs> Poor thing. Mm, maybe if we remove this tree. How's that for you, love? Is that a little better? You poor thing. Maybe we can remove one of these. Is that a little better? Is that better? How's that? It's still horrible. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm trying to make it better for you, love. I'm trying. I practically removed everything and it didn't change anything, which is crazy. This habitat, there's loads of plants in it. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Okay, I see that some of the glass is a problem. This this cave is like, I don't want anything in my exhibit. I hate it. I don't want anything here. <laughs> Which I had to laugh about. Goodness, what? What happens? Who had offspring? Oh my. Right, do we have babies? Do we have babies? Did you have babies, love? Did you have the babies? Oh my, okay. Wait, babies we can sell. And look, our monies are already all the way back up to $20,000, heck yes. But we got babies, do we actually? Hold on. We do! Captive birth, oh my gosh! Wow! Should we, maybe we should sell. Maybe we could sell them, although they're just, they're, they're young. They're very young. Uh, so for now, we're gonna put her on contraceptives. Just for now. And then we'll let her raise her babies and then we'll sell the babies when they're old enough. But that, I think, is where we're gonna leave it. I didn't really get to start on the building of the reptile house just yet because we kind of switched over to our little caiman exhibit, which is so bare. I hate how bare it is. 
but our caiman is very picky. It doesn't like foliage. It's like, no, I just want rocks and water. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, we'll keep working on our zoo, which is slowly getting there. Maybe I'll be able to work on making our buildings look better very soon as well. I'd love to add a centerpiece or add an info center or even some food and water right in here when people walk in so that it's not just like, bam, exhibit, have a good time. I want them to be able to go and ask questions and be able to grab some food and that should also give us some more money as well. All right, y'all, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Here, let's go look at our caiman while I do my outro because I think that's cool. Huh. Look at you. You need a name, a better name than you have. <laughs> I love that it's albino. I couldn't resist. I had to buy the albino one. Absolutely adorable. Like I love going to the zoo and seeing the uh, albino alligators. They, would ha they had some in the Dallas Zoo, I believe, and I absolutely loved that exhibit. It's an indoor exhibit, but they decorated it really well. Anyways, yes, if you liked this episode, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell to be notified of when I post Planet Zoo. Don't forget to click the follow me link below if you want to join Discord. Follow me on Twitch to see me live or see any of my other social media there as well. I love you guys, and I will see you next week for more Planet Zoo. Bye!